Now we are on the J5 block, and it is an EPP modified block, but it's basically just extended the points to the outside edge so that you have a better shape to assemble here. This is very similar to another block earlier in the quilt. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to obviously baste my square, but I'm going to assemble this to the square, these four pieces to the square first, and then that will form this curve. When I baste these curves, I'm going to make a small notch in each one of these sides of the fabric, which is over here. So I'm going to make a small notch here and then baste them in, making sure I maintain the integrity of this curve. To base these, I'm going to use my little gathering stitch method. Once I get this unit assembled, I'm going to assemble this to this and so on in pairs. So then that way, I've got reference points on where to put these in here. It's easier to position these when they're attached to one of these. So if you pair these up in order or whatever, I've got my points that radiate out so I don't think it really matters what order they are. And then you assemble that unit one at a time around in a, in a clockwise or counterclockwise motion, whatever works for you. So here's my pieces I've laid out. I'm going to baste my square opposite sides and then the other opposite sides. These I'm going to baste. I'm going to put a small notch in here. I'm going to baste these first and then make sure that I maintain the integrity of my curve. Then I'm going to baste these with the edges first and then this gathering stitch on the outside. So for these, I'm going to base the outside edge and then this little bitty edge. And then when I go to do these, I want to make sure that I do my utmost to maintain this corner because when you have a corner that's larger than 90 degrees, it's harder to maintain the sharpness of the point. And you need these points to make sure that they match up exactly to this to maintain the integrity of the outside. So I will get started by basting these and assembling my middle unit. All right, so basting these little pieces with the curves on the outside edges, what I did is I notched my fabric with my scissors, not all the way down. And then I pushed the really hard, when I put the bait, the glue on the edge, I, I squished them real hard against this cur curved edge. And what you end up getting is a lot of this push back so you it'll kind of change the way this goes and then I will baste this corner and let's, I will baste this side and this side and you will end up with this little pocket looking thing like this so when I go to attach these because I squished them up real good I've got a good curve here because you want to be able to tell exactly where your curve is. So I'm going to attach these to my square. So I got my middle of my block all together and so it's got these little curvy areas that I can put my points onto once I've assembled that. So I'm going to set this aside and I'm going to base these and put them together in sets of one of these and one of these. So I'm going to base this and this, and then I'm going to gathering stitch baste this edge and then connect it to this edge after I baste this. So I've got all my outer pieces basted and I'm when I was basting these, I really tried to make sure that this fold is right on the point of the paper right here so that I can then make this line up correctly. So the edge, and then when I did my gathering stitch and when I pinned it down, I really pulled down on it without wrecking the fabric so that I could have a tight edge on this curve. So I want to be able to match this up right here. So that way when I pair these up, then I can attach it properly here. So I've paired up my units and I got these, the tips as close as possible, but I wanted to 
I haven't been able to line these up exactly, but I wanted to show you how I did this. There's bulk underneath this paper, and I don't mean underneath, I mean at the end, like at this. So this piece has this bulk at the edge here. And when you go to line it up with this point, it can be a little diff a little off depending on how picky you are. So what I'm doing is I'm putting a little bit of that bulk on the bottom of this so that I can have this point line up because I know that this point is more accurate. I made this point tighter when I basted it than I was able to make this one. And I was also feeling for my corner pieces because as, as careful as I tried to get this, I may not have accurately done it completely. So that's how I've done this and I've taped them and I've got my pieces. The rest of these are already basted. So I'm going to lay these out and I'm going to attach these to the middle one at a time. So let me finish basting this one and I'll start attaching these to my middle. Now I've got all my exterior pairs made. I'm going to take my middle and I'm going to take one of my pairs and I'm going to attach it with this seam to this seam. So my points are going to be to make sure that this point lines up with this point. This point goes right in the middle here, and this point lines up with the paper edge, because as I said a minute ago, this edge may not be 100% accurate, so I'm going to make sure I know exactly where the paper edge is versus my fold, which my paper edge is a little bit inside that point, fabric point. So I'm going to stitch that on, and then my next piece, I'm going to have an extra seam, I'm going to line up these points and then work down around in this way for that piece. So let me get my first piece attached and I'll get me started. So I've attached my first piece and what I did is I started here and went to about halfway and tied off and then came back here and worked my way in, making sure to take up this excess here with my little X method where I pull this this way to, to um, close this gap and then I pull this this way and it makes this little X back there and I do the same thing at these points so then I just kept going and met this point the next one I'm going to put on is this one and this one is going to fit right into there so I'm going to tape it here and probably here and here so that I can make sure I'm going to place it correctly So I've attached my second pairing and when I did that I started up here to make sure that I had this point as accurate as possible and then I stitched about halfway here and then I tied off and came back here and worked my way back around. So what's going to happen is even though this is not exactly perfect I'm going to be able to work that in when I put on my sashing. So I'm going to continue in the same fashion as I attach the second one to attach the third and the fourth one. So I've got the third piece attached and I just have one more piece to attach here and I will be done. Now I have a completed J5 block.